Imagine a time when the universe was nothing but a dark and empty void. No stars, no planets, no galaxies. Just a vast expanse of nothingness. How did we get from there to here? How did the universe create such magnificent structures out of chaos? And how did it do it so fast? Welcome to Most Amazing Channel, where we explore the wonders of the cosmos and beyond. In this video, we're going to reveal a shocking new discovery that has fundamentally changed our understanding of how galaxies are formed. This discovery is based on the most realistic and detailed simulation of galaxy formation ever created, and it shows us something that we never expected to see. But before we get to that, let's take a step back and see how we thought galaxies were formed in the first place. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe began about 13.8 billion years ago as a tiny point of infinite density and temperature that exploded and expanded rapidly. In the first few minutes, the universe was filled with a hot plasma of protons, neutrons, electrons and photons. As the universe cooled down, protons and neutrons combined to form hydrogen and helium nuclei, and eventually atoms. This process released photons that could travel freely through space creating the cosmic microwave background radiation that we can still detect today. The early universe was very smooth and homogeneous with only tiny fluctuations in density and temperature. These fluctuations were caused by quantum fluctuations in the inflationary period or by sound waves in the plasma. These fluctuations were the seeds of structure formation in the universe. They acted as gravitational wells that attracted more matter and grew over time. As matter clumped together under gravity, it formed clouds of gas that collapsed into stars. Stars are massive balls of plasma that generate energy by fusing hydrogen into helium in their cores. Stars emit light and heat that can ionize the surrounding gas, creating bubbles of ionized hydrogen called HII regions. Stars are not eternal. They have a finite lifespan that depends on their mass and composition. Some stars live for billions of years, while others die in spectacular explosions called supernovae. Supernovae are powerful events that can release more energy than the sun in its entire lifetime. They can also create heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, iron and gold through nuclear fusion. Supernovae can also trigger shock waves that can compress nearby gas clouds and trigger new star formation. This process is called positive feedback as it enhances star formation. However, supernova can also have negative feedback effects as they can blow away gas from their vicinity and prevent further star formation, Yamza. Stars are not isolated. They tend to form groups or clusters that are bound by gravity. Some clusters are small and loose, while others are large and dense. The largest and most dense clusters are called globular clusters, and they can contain up to a million stars. Clusters of stars can also merge together to form larger structures called galaxies. Galaxies are collections of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter that orbit around a common center of mass. Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up most of the mass in the universe, but does not interact with light or ordinary matter. We only know it exists because of its gravitational effects on visible matter. Galaxies come in different shapes and sizes. Some are spiral-shaped, like our own Milky Way galaxy, with arms that wind around a central bulge. Some are elliptical shaped, like giant balls of stars with no discernible structure, and some are irregular shaped, like blobs or clouds of stars with no definite shape. Galaxies are not static. They can interact with each other through gravity and collide or merge over time. These interactions can affect their shape, size, and star formation rate. For example, spiral galaxies can become elliptical galaxies after a major merger with another galaxy. Galaxies are also not isolated. They tend to form groups or clusters that are bound by gravity. Some groups are small and loose, while others are large and dense. The largest and most dense clusters are called galaxy clusters, and they can contain up to thousands of galaxies. Galaxy clusters are not the end of the story. They can also merge together to form larger structures called superclusters. Superclusters are the largest structures in the observable universe. Superclusters are not evenly distributed in space. They form a complex web-like pattern that resembles a sponge or a honeycomb. This pattern is called the cosmic web, and it is the result of the gravitational pull of dark matter and the expansion of the universe. 
The cosmic web is the ultimate manifestation of structure formation in the universe. It shows us how matter has evolved from a smooth and uniform state to a clumpy and diverse state over billions of years. But how exactly did this happen? How did matter form such intricate patterns under the influence of gravity and dark matter? And how did galaxies form within this cosmic web? To answer these questions, we need more than just observations. We need simulations. Simulations are computer models that can recreate the physical processes that govern the universe, such as gravity, hydrodynamics, thermodynamics, radiation, chemistry, and more. Simulations can help us test our theories, make predictions, and understand complex phenomena that are beyond our direct observation. One of the most ambitious and realistic simulations of galaxy formation ever created is called the TNG Project. TNG stands for the next generation. The project is a collaboration between scientists from various institutions around the world who use some of the most powerful supercomputers on Earth to run their simulations. TNG 50 covers a volume of 50 megaparsecs on a side, which is about 163 million light years. It has a resolution of 0.5 kiloparsecs, which is about 1,600 light years. This means that it can resolve individual star forming regions within galaxies. Each simulation starts from the initial conditions of the early universe, based on observations from the cosmic microwave background radiation. Then, it evolves forward in time using physical laws and equations that describe how matter behaves under different forces and conditions. The simulations include various processes that affect galaxy formation, such as gravity, gas dynamics, star formation, supernova feedback, black hole formation and feedback, magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and more. The simulations produce massive amounts of data that can be analyzed and visualized using various tools and techniques. The data can be compared with observations from telescopes and satellites to check for consistency and accuracy. The data can also reveal new insights and discoveries that were not possible to observe directly or predict theoretically. One of the most shocking discoveries that came out of the project was related to how galaxies are formed within the cosmic web. The conventional wisdom was that galaxies form at the intersections or nodes of the cosmic web filaments where matter is most dense and concentrated. However, the TNG project showed something different. The project showed that galaxies do not form at the nodes of the cosmic web filaments, but rather along them or near them. This means that galaxies are not isolated islands in space, but rather connected by bridges or tendrils of gas and stars that extend along the filaments. These bridges or tendrils are not just passive conduits of matter. They are active agents of galaxy formation and evolution. They can transport gas and stars from one galaxy to another, or from the intergalactic medium to the galaxies. They can also trigger star formation or quench it, depending on the conditions and feedback effects. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of how galaxies are formed and how they interact with each other and with their environment. It challenges the traditional view of galaxies as isolated systems that only interact through gravity. It also opens up new possibilities for exploring the history and diversity of galaxies in the universe. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about how galaxies are formed. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. If you want to learn more about the TNG project, you can visit their website. You can also check out some of their papers and videos that explain their methods and results in more detail. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.